Hi, my name is Nick, and I'm with Atlantic Laser Scanning. Today, we're going to be working in Pharaoh's scene software, and we're going to be addressing a question that we got from one of our customers, being that they want to scan an object or they've already scanned an object, and they want to bring that object into another location and see how it's going to fit. Uh, maybe they're working with some clash detection software, or maybe they just simply want to um, take the scan of the object since they didn't have a CAD drawing, they don't have anything to scale, and just see how the easiest way to move that into another location would be without buying any software packages for clash detection or anything else, just simply creating its own scan model of just the object, eliminating all the surroundings, and then bring that into another location and then manipulate it and put it into a particular spot. So uh, we're going to start with this uh, scan project. It's already been registered. As you can see, we've got a green light and uh, the scan is inside of a museum and we're just simply going to be uh, eliminating basically the rest of the museum and we're going to take this bull statue and put it into another scan project at a different time in a different place. So as you can see, if we're to look at what the actual project looks like completely scanned, you've got this entire room, parts of other rooms in the um, museum, and all we really need is this small sculpture inside of the room. So we can start by going to our selection indicator. And now we're going to try to trace around this and uh, we'll speed this up for you to give you an idea uh, of how this is done. But for the most part, we're just going to use our selector and we're going to just make sure that we're not cutting out any of the uh, actual sculpture. And obviously this can be a bit tedious. We're gonna not take a ton of time on it. This is gonna have to be done on each of the scans. So as you can see, we've got a half dozen or so scans of the room, different angles of this particular sculpture. And this is the beginning of getting rid of everything else. Now we're going to right click on that and we're going to create a scan. Now, if we wanted to, uh, we could compress this um, and create a smaller file. Uh, there are times where this is really going to be helpful. Um, if we've got a really large, heavy project and we want to just compress it, uh, it also can give us maybe finer lines and some different things. But today, we're just going to leave it at a one-to-one -one noise compression. And you're going to see now we've got bull 01 is now bull 01.1. Now we're going to go to the main scans folder, right click on it and create a cluster. And then we're going to drag and drop all of the 0.1 cleaned scan files 
into that cluster. Now, you know, if we were to take a look at the scan cluster right now, you can still see that there's quite a lot of debris in the background, but for the most part, we could stay in 3D. and clip most of it out. Now from this point, we can create a mesh with it. We can export it, uh, drag and drop these files into uh, another project, relocate it. Um, there's just uh, there's a ton of different things that we can do now that we've got ourselves a uh, more or less cleaned sculpture.